And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the United States Military Academy. I get a chance to talk with a member of the West Point Band, Sergeant Major Christopher Jones. And uh, Sergeant Major, uh, first off, it's a big day here with uh, our day. You got a you got a performance coming up in a little while. That is correct. We have the R Day Oath Ceremony, which will happen momentarily up on the plane. The uh, West Point Band will be the first one onto the plane. We'll march the new cadets on, and they will take their oath of allegiance as new cadets. And then we will march them into the Washington Hall Mess Hall for their very first time. Absolutely a big day, and I'm sure all the parents and family here will really enjoy seeing you uh, uh, perform uh, the traditional West Point music. Uh, all part of a, of, a, of a very significant year, the, the bicentennial of the West Point Band. You've had a lot of major performances uh, from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to uh, lots of regional events. Tell us about the bicentennial of the West Point Band. Well, as you say that, the Macy's, Bison, uh, sorry, the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade was basically the kickoff for the West Point Band's Bicentennial Year 2017. Uh, the band officially becomes 200 on June 8th. Uh, that was our official uh, birthday, as you would say, for the unit. Uh, we had a live stream that day, and then we've had several Trophy Point concerts after that, the Army birthday after that. Uh, we're doing the R Day ceremony, of course, today. Tomorrow is July 4th, and uh, we're playing the Macy's Fireworks, which is about a half hour of music that we perform with the fireworks there down in Ma Manhattan and uh, Queens. Uh, so that's a really big event. It will also spotlight on the band's bicentennial and, of course, the Academy. And the Cadet Glee Club will be with us as well, singing a lot of things like God Bless America and the Armed Forces Medley. And then uh, at the end of the week on Saturday, the 8th of July, we perform um, basically a big Independence Day event here at West Point with fireworks. Uh, all of our groups, the Hellcats, Benny Haven's band, the concert band will perform great patriotic favorites uh, on that event. Absolutely. Got to go back to Macy's uh, fireworks uh uh, event uh, on uh, Independence Day. Uh, there was a, a feature about how you're doing a very special uh, ensemble of the national anthem, and uh, uh, based on uh, on on, the, on being uh, set up to match to the fireworks. Tell us a little bit about that uh, special uh, national anthem you have planned. Well, the whole program is called Anthem. Uh, we have the national anthem. We have a song called American Anthem, and then you have all of the favorite patriotic anthems. You have God Bless America, America the Beautiful, and um, we have a special instrumental version of Battle Hymn of the Republic that uh, will be new for this performance. So it's basically entitled Anthem, our, our portion of the program, and it's been a whole year in the works. Macy's and the West Point Band has uh, worked to create this score and it's been a great project. Well, that's great, and uh, on your Independence Day uh, concerts here at Trophy Point are just spectacular, and I know the 4th of July is kind of uh, the biggest of, of the year. Tell us a little bit about what you have planned for 4th of July. That's a huge crowd that comes out for that event. Right, well, so 4th of July we'll be playing uh, down in uh, Queens for uh, Macy's, and then on the 8th of July we play the, um, the, the one at Trophy Point. Uh, but tell us a little bit about your career um, in the United States Army with the West Point Band. How did it start out for you? Well, I'm a clarinetist in the West Point Band. I uh, auditioned right out of graduate school. Uh, I'm from Alabama. I was in New Mexico and uh, came directly here after basic training uh, as a West Point Band clarinetist. And throughout the years, I've worked as a publicist and a drum major. And now I'm in charge of the concert and marching band. Right. Uh, I guess um, people may not realize that everyone in the West Point Band uh, is, uh, is, uh, went through basic training and are full-fledged members of, of the U.S. Army, and you represent the Army so well. What are, are Just tell us a little bit more about the role of the West Point Band. I know you've got performances all over, uh, all over the region. Well, our mission is to support the Academy and the Army and then, of course, the nation. And we are very closely tied to the Academy from the Hellcats marching uh, the cadets into meal formations or playing funerals 
to the marching band playing the oath ceremony all the way to the acceptance day parade and then eventually graduation so we're tied in with the cadets all the way through their 47 month experience we play the football games pre-game halftime with the uh, Benny Havens band is out doing black nights alley on football games uh, so we're just all over the place entrenched with the Academy but at the same time we support the tri-state area with uh, free concerts you can go to westpointband.com you can see us on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and find all of the information on the band as far as our free concerts absolutely and just uh, what, what's the best part of being uh, uh, a member of the West Point band having your career with the West Point band is there a particular moment that stands out or is there just a role in the band that uh, that you enjoy so much well, serving the nation as a clarinetist is just a giant uh, role, you know. It's something that when I was auditioning for military academy band, sorry, military bands, I didn't think I would uh, be able to do, but it's been a super experience just performing uh, on my instrument for uh, the greater nation, the public, and the academy. Absolutely. Sergeant Major Christopher Jones of the West Point Band celebrating their bicentennial this year and just a joy we enjoy seeing you at the concerts and uh, at the football games and you entertain veterans in the military so well so great to see you we look forward to another wonderful performance uh, here at our day for all the parents and families and the new cadets thank you very much our pleasure is ken kratzer for sons of american legion radio at the united states military academy